What's really amazing about these camps is that it gives the people who come to them the opportunity to basically get the knowledge that we would get in a college course. So each day the kids are learning about two weeks of content. With 3D animation we're actually learning a little bit of modeling, uh, so creating characters in, uh, in the computer, characters and environments, and then how to texture them, light the scenes, and animate within those. The programs we use are primarily Maya and we do a little bit in Photoshop. Uh, this week we've been learning a broad spectrum of things like animation, rigging, and modeling. We are learning how to use Maya and other tools to do 3D animation. Maya is a professional animation 3D modeling software that most professionals use nowadays, but students can use it to model whatever they want and put it in games or make animations using it. In Maya, you would basically make a 3D model of something, and then you would rig it, texture it, and then animate it. Everyone right now is just learning the basics, and later we're gonna work on what we want to do with what we've learned. So some people might just focus on animation, and other people might focus on just doing rigging. I hope that the students uh, have come out of camps with a better understanding of how the, the movies and the games they play uh, how these are actually made, and then um, I want them to have, or I would hope that they have some sort of uh, interest in continuing their education in that. So the overall goal of the beginner game design program is to have a playable game of their own making by the end of the week. Uh, we start off the first two days just learning about concepts, and then uh, the rest of the week, the last three days, is when they actually create um, their vision from scratch and actually put it into Unity. We start off uh, playing games and analyzing games that they're familiar with, and then from that analysis, we work into more physical uh, prototypes. And then with these physical prototypes, we take game pieces, uh, paper, board games, uh, pieces, cards, and we create actual physical prototypes. And then from there, they brainstorm their own ideas and uh, flesh them out more thoroughly. And then they work with Unity Game Engine to create an actual game. Unity 3D is basically um, a game making software that is really good for rapid prototyping and even fully fledged games. Right now we're working on making our own games and the game my group is working on is called uh, Overtime Outrage. And it's an office game where you are the boss trying to shoot your workers so they can't leave. My game is like, it's an arcade style defense game where you are defending an island from waves of uh, pirates, mainly a stone on it that is owned by the supposed captain of the pirates attacking you. One thing that we really learned is that what makes a good game is not the concept, but the design team. I really like the experience and it's really taught me a lot about what I want to do and what actually I have to do for it and how much more I have to learn. We have to make our games work, we have to make them fun, and we have to make them in the short span of time we have. In the camp we're teaching the kids a uh, software called Unity, which is the same software that we use here. We're running them through basically the first class of the program here at Michigan State which is making a game starting from like the beginning concepting stages and um, working with a new team and then they just build their idea and they play test it and iterate on their idea every day until at the end of the week they have a finished product. So at the beginning of the week we form them into teams of two or three people and then they started thinking of ideas and writing them down on paper about what they wanted to make. And then once they had a solid idea down they started to use what we gave them, the assets we gave them in Unity to start making their game. I'm learning a lot more about like the technicality behind making a game. So more going more into the scripting and just spending more time making the levels and getting everything working how we want it to. In Unity we basically are getting a lot of different models and textures and Putting them on, we're, we got a 3D platform. And we're making cool like mountains and landscapes. We're learning how to really refine our games that we're making and um, how to put them together in such a way that people will enjoy them. Our game is called Prisoner 49. It's a story about a man who escapes off uh, out of a jail 
though she's is trapped in by these aliens, and now he's trying to get out by collecting all the pieces of his broken spaceship and flying off the planet. We're currently making a 2D video game. It's a fun game about a ninja trying to stop robots from taking over the world. My favorite part about camps is meeting up with other people and working with them and coming together and making this cool thing that you wouldn't even imagine your wildest dreams doing. You can make these amazing things if you just put your mind to it and work on it. I love seeing how fast the kids learn. Like, they pick up on these concepts so much quicker than I ever did. You just show them like, what to do and then they take off with it and they do so much more than like, you ever showed them. I'm teaching Introduction to Audio Programming and in that camp students are learning how to program and design synthesizers, samplers, uh, drum machines and basic audio effects like uh, what you'd find in a standard cabinet of guitar pedals. It's a really hectic camp. There's a lot to go through. Um, a lot of the students have never programmed before. So a lot of it is kind of taking a look at existing code, breaking it down, and then having the students replicate that as a way to learn. But a lot of it's also playing around and having fun and creating crazy sounds. So we start off really easy, just building basic synth modules, and then uh, kind of putting those all together. And then from there, using them to control a sampler and then seeing what we can do by going around and grabbing sounds off the internet to create new and even crazier sounds. Well, we're using a programming language it's called Pure Data. It's part of the Max family of languages and it's really cool because it's all graphical. So you draw a box and then you type in the name of the object that you want and then you connect that to other objects or to other messages. Right now in this camp we are learning how to sample which is taking different sounds like a wine glass and completely changing it and making it sound new and really cool. My project specifically I'm working on a police siren and I'm trying to make a beat out of that. My project right now I'm working on making a drum solo into almost a whole song. What I'm going to be taking away from this camp is not only knowledge about the music industry and what goes into making songs but I'll also be taking away great experiences and new friends. Um, well, I hope that they get a new experience. I mean, this is something that very few people do. It's a really specialized field, so I just hope that they gain a better understanding of what goes into programming software instruments and how to use them. So we're teaching a digital cinema camp. Uh, students work in small teams to produce a really short film, uh, usually between three and six or seven minutes. The students are able to do all aspects of production. So they come up with the idea, they script it out, they work on filming the actual scenes, edit it together, and then export it into something that they can put on a DVD or show on YouTube. So we start with some really nice Sony NX cam uh, cameras that they learn how to use. Uh, we also show them some more advanced stuff uh, audio production wise, they use boom bikes, boom poles, uh, how to use those. Uh, we went over lighting and then we teach them the editing software. So we worked together to write a script and then we went location scouting and then we were learning how to work with the cameras. My favorite part about teaching the camp is probably seeing the crazy ideas that the students come up with because they usually have very low restraint and so their stories just go way higher and way farther than a lot of people so you get a lot of really cool creative ideas. The film I'm working on is a spoof on old sappy uh, love stories. We are making fun of Titanic, Twilight, say anything except putting a twist on it in the sense of the boy hates the girl in this part of it. It's kind of about this like zombie apocalypse sort of thing um, where there's like all these people who are well equipped to survive and then there's a guy who's just living off of pure luck and being kind of stupid. I like that moment when they sort of start to get it where I can sit back and just watch them do it and they know what to do and they know how to troubleshoot a problem so they're not always asking me. I'm happy to help them but it's good to see the students grow and actually uh, try to figure things out for themselves and realize yeah I know how to do this or I can figure it out.